She's the founder and CEO of Filipina Home Based Moms, better known as FH Moms. So, Maria Corina Bertulfo is a finalist in the finest startup competition in the Philippines, the final pitch season four. She's also a business and career trainer, speaker, and ambassadors of onlinejobs.ph and Canva. Most importantly, she is the CEO and founder of Filipina Home Based Moms the first and the biggest freelancing group for Pinay moms with 2,000 members nationwide. Imagine that. Mommy MK is passionate about helping stay-at-home, corporate, and overseas moms thrive in their chosen career, either as an entrepreneur or freelancer, so that they can earn enough without leaving their family. She's the woman with strong advocacy to change the world, one mom at a time. Without further ado, and it is my pleasure that she's again my guest. She has been part of Freedom Summit since the first season, our community partner, my dear friend, MK Bertulfo. Hi, Hi MK. Celia. Thank you so uh, much for having me here again. So, yes. yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. Sorry, MK. Let me just, uh, because uh, when I, I, I post, I mentioned your uh, introduction, mm -hmm. I was supposed to play a video. Uh, let's play a video first before you yeah, enter, sure. okay? Definitely. Okay, so okay. Thank you, Celia. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's play a video first. Okay. Okay. Can we play? Okay. Oh, there's no music. Oh, there's no sound. How about we share it later, MK? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, we'll just uh, coordinate with the tech team. So there, um, I'll give you the floor. And uh, for sure, so many mommies are waiting for you, so many fempreneurs. And uh, really, it's a blessing for me that you're here for us to be inspired again because of all the things that you've been doing, paying it forward for all the blessings also that you receive, that you truly deserve. Okay, like what Fabi said, MK, you're free. <laughs> All right. All right. So I have my uh, screen here shared. Celia, I'm not sure if uh, you can let me share it. Uh huh. So. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much uh, again for supporting all of our local speakers in day one and day two, of course, for welcoming all the international speakers in this Freedom Summit Global. So again, I'd like to welcome everyone uh, to uh, the afternoon session in Freedom Summit Global. So if this is your first time watching, maybe you can comment down uh, that it's your first time or if you've watched day one and day two. And also, comment down where are you watching, so your location. So I believe this is being streamed uh, globally. So you will be seeing um, a lot of um, foreign uh, nationals that will watch this live. So yeah, no uh, Filipino right now, but we'll see you later. Uh, and thank you so much again for tuning in. So let's get started. So how many of you here hates the feeling of adrenaline rush, the nervousness, sweating and heightened senses and even if you and even if it's your second time riding a roller coaster your heart beats fast because you know what's gonna happen next right so right now since we're in the pandemic i don't think um um the amusement park will be open soon but ladies and gentlemen i'm not going to discuss uh, the science behind adrenaline rush and riding a roller coaster but i want you to ask this to yourself are you ready for an emotional roller coaster ride when i started doing freelancing and business i never asked myself if i'm ready <laughs> so it's funny right but i wanted you to ask this to yourself okay so yeah maybe uh you can comment in the section yes if uh you are ready to you know, to uh, to the career that you wanted to start or an online business that you wanted to start. So just comment down, yes. All right. So hi again, everyone. My name is MK Bertulfo. I'm a 26-year-old 
first time mom from Taguig City, Philippines, and the founder of Filipina Home Based Moms. FH Moms is an online community with over 200,000 Filipina mothers inside and outside the Philippines. And what we do is we help them get an online job through our training and apprenticeship program. We also have a computer rent to own program and we recently onboarded our first BPO client. So to uh, everyone who's watching who are members of Filipino Home-Based Moms, maybe you can comment down in the section as well. Say hi to your fellow members, all right? So before I start my talk, I want you to, um, I want you uh, to tell me if you are a first-time mom, maybe you are a corporate mom, or if you are an OFW mom, so just, just let me know, all right? So when I learned, uh, when I learned uh, that I'm pregnant with my first baby, do you know what's the first thing that came into my mind? The first thing that came into my mind is this. How am I supposed to raise my son if I'm jobless? Because uh, during that time, I don't have any job. I'm just teaching the kids in our community so that I can earn a little. So according to this article, you will need at least 1 million pesos to raise a baby from birth to age two. So imagine. And do you know that there are parents with premature or sick babies, kid, uh, moms with kids that has um, autism who would spend millions just to, you know, save them and then um, be able to bring them to um, therapies. And the, the fears and anxieties of first-time parents doesn't stop there, right? So if you're a first-time parent or... You're not you're a not so first time parent, but you still feel that you're new with this uh, parenting, right? Maybe you can comment on your fears. So yeah, we will be talking about uh, the, the fears that uh, you you might feel along the way, right? So yeah, so when I when my son reached to, I'm lucky enough to be able to land an online job as an email support for a monthly salary of thirty five thousand pesos with uh with a Canadian client and. Uh, he has a tattoo shop. So after that, uh, my, my husband also got a job in the same company as well as um, our friends. But yeah, how about those who struggled looking for an online job that takes months and even years, right? So uh, maybe you can comment down as well if um, how long have you been looking for an online job? A month, a year? or so right because i know a lot of people who've been trying to get an online job especially during this pandemic because a lot of you guys have lost uh your job or maybe your hours has been shortened i don't know but um right now uh what we really need to do is look for because the opportunities is there we just have to look for them right or maybe we can create them by creating your own business so when i started fh moms in 2017, I surveyed 5,000 moms and 55%, imagine, 55% of them said that they can't find an online job because of emotional pressure. And that includes what? Self-esteem, uh, low self-esteem. Some of them are not being supported by their family members, maybe your husband. Um, and when I decided to quit my corporate job, my dad questioned me if freelancing is a legit source of income. So uh, he knows that I've been working in the corporate uh, industry for well, two to three years, I believe. I no longer remember. But uh, for him, having this kind of job in the corporate is uh, stable. But right now, we can tell uh, if that corporate job is stable because of what's happening right now in the world, right? So after a couple of weeks working working for different clients, um, international clients, as well as local clients, ignoring all the negativities, ignoring what my dad will say, I hit a six-digit income. And that is a blessing for me because when I was in the corporate um, uh, company that I worked with the first time, I'm just earning, what, uh, 14,000 pesos a month with all the taxes, with all the expenses, such as food and transportation. So. That's crazy. So, yeah. I thought after getting my dream online job as a social media manager and letting the world know that you can earn real money, I'll be happy and contented. I hoarded multiple clients. 
I no longer sleep. I just sleep like what two to four hours, I believe, with the interruption of my son. And I talked to my husband until he um I, I became cranky. I know it's crazy, but I'm doing everything I can just to overcome my fear of losing money and going back to zeros. But yeah. So um it's it's a good thing that my husband talked to me and he told me uh and have me realize which is more important. Is it um is it money or your time with your family? So after that I realized I should work smart um and not just work hard. So I decided to uh, quit my other jobs and just stick to uh, my full-time job and a side gig, right? So after my email support job, I was able to get um, virtual assistant jobs as well as social media. So yeah, so that was my work at home uh, story. So yeah, so I just wanted to share an anonymous post um, in our community, but let me just have this real quick. Yeah, so there's this anonymous post in our group from a mom who just gave birth. She said, this is in Filipino, so I have to translate it. So, naririnig ko palang tinug ng Skype, naiiyak na ako. So, every time uh, she would hear the, 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 the sounds, but not sound, but the notification sound of Skype with, you know, with calls or messages coming from her client, she would cry. Right, so maybe for the others, it it looks weird or it sounds weird, right? Clearly, this mom is showing the signs of postpartum depression. We should not take it for granted, right? But you know, sometimes fear is good. Not the fear uh, from postpartum depression, of course. But what I'm saying is, yeah, sometimes fear is good. So if you could, if you agree that sometimes fear is good just let me know in the comment section i i i remember there's this mom that i that i that, that i follow she's also a social media influencer and then she she told me via chat that you know sometimes fear is good because it only means that you're serious with what you wanted to achieve what you wanted to do right so yeah i hope you're still with me okay yeah, so the reason why I decided to start an online community is because I'm afraid to be alone. So the first fear that we will be talking about is the fear of being alone, right? So if you're like me, who is an extrovert and you love talking to other people, this can be one of your fears, right? When you're locked down at home. And like all of us right now, when we experience this pandemic, that is our fear. What if my son feels um, sad because uh, he can no longer meet his friends, right? So those kind of fears, we, we have that even before this pandemic. So yeah, so the reason why I decided to start an online community is because I'm afraid to be alone. I'm happy that I'm not the only one who's advocating and believing in freelancing. In a recent event, we had uh, over... 700 attendees who come together to celebrate the goodness of working from home. I met a lot of wonderful moms, of course, in in our community. I talked to a lot of people. I read a lot of uh, stories from this mom. So yeah. So the next one would be the fear of losing money, right? I, I, we have this inside joke in the in the family with with my husband. So. Um, Compared to him, uh, I'm 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 not that uh, I'm not that afraid of losing money because I know I can still earn. But he was like, "Oh my God, we're running out of money," something like that. So it's it's funny. So uh, I just I just wanted to uh, to to share with you the uh, what's really happening. So yeah. So remember when I worked so hard just to make sure I can make enough money. As the CEO of FH Moms, I made sure that everyone who's working for working hard for a community is compensated. So right now we have seven trainers. I have six full-time employees right now in the team. Uh, we have Tony, who's our recruitment manager based in Spain. 
uh, we have Mami Anya based in Cebu. And then we our trainers, majority of them are living in Laguna. We have one in, um, where is that? In, in Visayas part, I forgot already. And the, the rest are here in uh, Metro Manila. So I, I have to think of them, of course, being uh, the, the leader, right? So something I learned in my journey as a startup founder is to be able to, you know, create multiple streams of income for the company, not just for the employees, but also for our members. So that is my goal um, as, as, as a founder. So right now we're earning from online courses. Uh, we're also earning, before the pandemic, we're also earning from the events that we've done for um, e-commerce as well. We, we, we're, we're doing now a computer rent-to-own program. So we also have a markup from there as well as the other um, products and items that is available that we can sell in the community. And this is also a perfect opportunity for those who are um, starting their own business and they wanted to look for um, a venue where they could sell, right? So a lot of opportunities, both uh, opportunities uh, for, for all of us in the team and for our members. Right, because when they learned in the online courses that we're offering, uh, this will help them upskill and be able to get a high paying job in online freelancing. Right, and of course, for the events, uh, majority of the moms or um, families that, that go to our events they wanted to have you know um, a quality time with their family, or maybe they just wanted to meet um, their other mommy friends. We're also earning from our content. Our YouTube is monetized. Our page is monetized in Facebook. We do advertising as well. So we have um, we have brand clients who work with us. So we would uh, advertise them in our Facebook page, in our blog, so stuff like that. We do that, and it's a good thing because uh, we, with the money that we're getting, we're actually helping um, other people uh in the community we have a lot of giveaways we also hire people that could work with us we have a lot of hiring here and there right so we also earn from affiliate marketing so this is also to give you an idea you can create your own course you can have your own event online you can start doing e-commerce so this is a perfect opportunity for you to learn what you can do online right because we have limited time i can explain everything so yeah for affiliate marketing, it started uh, with our Lazada affiliate account. It's funny. So every time we would buy in Lazada, what we do is we share the affiliate link. And then from there, we would earn what? Uh, in just one link, we would earn 2,000 to 5,000 pesos or total. The first earning that we got uh, is, I believe, 9,000. So for, for the different items that we shared in social media. So that is called uh, affiliate marketing. Okay, so next is the fear of public speaking. So another common fear would be public speaking, which includes what? Job interviews. So how many of you here um, don't have any experience being interviewed? Or if you recently had your first interview, maybe you can comment down and tell me your experience. How was it? Uh, yeah, I can still remember the adrenaline rush with my first interview. It was so funny because I was wearing a blazer and then with full makeup on and I was super nervous. I'm just wearing my boxer shorts. So, uh, yeah, I was able to nail it and I'm so happy because I did it. So what I did uh, to overcome my fear to talking to foreign clients, because before, I'm not sure if you've heard about this, but. Before, when I was younger, because I, I studied in, in, in an international school and a majority of my clients are foreigners, I was so shy. I don't talk to them. I don't interact with them. And then I have no choice but to, uh, to, to speak in English because that is my only way to communicate to them. And then when, when, when I'm done with college, I, I started working in uh, the call center. It's so funny because... Even if I have that ex little experience of talking to foreign clients, I still fear of being rejected, being yelled at. So, yeah, 
but but still I, I i manage it so i scheduled interviews almost every day what i did is i sc scheduled interviews almost every day not that i scheduled it but i was scheduled <laughs> for the interview like almost every day because i apply every night right so that uh my, the, the reason why i did that is for for me to to you know for for it to become normal right so in this photo, as you can see, my son, who is awake now, my son is feeding me chips while I'm in the interview. And it's funny, the client and I were laughing the whole time because it was just there. The second photo is still me. Yes, I gained extra pounds, <laughs> as you can see. But the only difference is that I'm no longer working for foreign clients. I decided to focus on FH Moms. When I joined different startup competitions, like the Final Peach, which is aired on CNN Philippines, uh, so that I can also pro, uh, focus on helping other moms to get an online job and experience what I've experienced. So my blood is going live for free um, for four hours. I'm sure every one of you guys have watched that and training people from different cities across the country prepared me for that event and the rest of the pitching competitions that I'll be joining this year. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not usually speaking in English straight, but uh, for this Freedom Summit Global, I'm doing it. So I'm really happy that I get the chance to, uh, to you know, to share with uh, not just Filipinas, but, um, but, but others, right? So yeah, I applied for an accelerator program under PhilDev. And, and UNDP to help our team. And I'm happy that we made it. We just graduated and I'm applying now for other startup competitions. So all the nights and early mornings are worth it. After the final pitch, we were able to, uh, we were able to get 500,000 pesos as a cash grant. So let's move on to uh, our next fear, which is fear of failure. Okay, so with all those achievements, sorry, I have to drink a lot of water. I don't want to deny that I'm still afraid of failing, right? Every single day. I'm not sure if it's um, the fear of failing. Um, maybe I can say that um, it's not me failing. It's, um, it's the project failing because I know there's a lot of people that will, you know, that will, that will, um, that will be affected. So I'm okay failing a million times. I don't care. It's just that I don't want to make any mistake because I know there's a lot of people that is, um, that is uh, looking after me, that is, uh, you know, counting on me. Uh, for them to have a better life, right? So every single day I'm motivated to work harder because I don't, yeah, I don't want to fail thousands of moms who's trusting me and is hoping that whatever I achieve as a freelancer and entrepreneur will also be experienced by them and their families. So in order to succeed faster, know that failure is not an opposite of success, okay? Failure is part of success and you should treat it as a learning process always always remember that that failure is just part of success and you should treat it as a learning process so number one fail fast right so if you can fail fast i'm not i'm not saying that you should fail like every day but i want you to fail fast and then anticipate when are you going to succeed right so if you fail your first interview that's fine that is your first interview if you fail in your second interview, that's fine. If you fail in your first 10 tries, it's fine. It's your first 10 tries, okay? Be kind to yourself, okay? So just, just keep on trying, all right? So uh, second is fix fast. So if you fail the first time, maybe you could ask yourself, why did I fail my first interview? Or maybe you can ask the client, hey, client, maybe you can tell me, what happened here? Why are you not hiring me? Not, not that way. But I want you to ask them for their feedback. So when they ask you during the interview, uh, say they ask you, do you have any questions for me? And then 
the best um the best question to ask is ask them what they think about you so when they say yeah you're you're really good i like you then you have uh at least an idea that you have a greater chance of being hired but if he uh if the client uh told you that uh yeah you i like you but however your grammar is not that good something like that so at least you ha you don't have to wait for them to to tell you if you're hired or not you can just move on to the next client right so that's 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 how you do it okay and of course number three is learn fast okay learn fast so uh, my 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 strategy i always do this i i work fast i learn fast i i don't um settle or i don't um i don't really think about the things that i that i that uh the things that failed so i i just focus on what can be done right okay so as a freelancer or entrepreneur we are the boss right so we know that we have flexible hours uh, in our job and our biggest fear aside from public speaking and failing is making the wrong decisions do you agree so sometimes uh so sometimes what i would do so this is my husband in in the photo as you can see it's funny so what i usually do i would just ask my husband that it's up to you Bahala ka na. so that when something happened uh it's him uh who 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 will be on fault right so at the left photo this is my husband he's afraid of heights obviously uh this is in tagaytay or Baguio. i'm not really sure but he doesn't like rides uh but he is the best when it comes to giving advice so he's like my mentor right i don't usually uh say this but he's really good he's really smart so yeah on the other side is jackie she's been mentoring me as a startup founder so in terms of uh decision making in terms of uh what to feel because when i was younger when i started doing business or when i started uh creating filipino home-based moms I don't know anything. I'm I'm not sure how to react with bashers or with people who hate me. And then there is a dream who would uh tell me to just move on. It's it's normal, stuff like that. And I would just cry. And now I'm no longer like that. It's because of Jim. Right? So I'm so happy because he's giving me all the advices that I needed. Uh cause cause he's a little um older than me. <laughs> So he's, I'm not sure if he's a 31 or 32, uh, but yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, yeah, because of uh, my fear of making wrong decisions, I always make sure that I ask for advice before making any move. Sometimes when I for, uh, forgot to ask for any advice, uh, and then I would tell him what decision I made, he would say that do this or do that and i was like oh i just made the decision and i have to change it because he has a point so yeah so my my practice right now is of course to ask him so uh same with doing business i also ask jackie if this is good or not what do you think about this do you think it's a good decision to do this and that so yeah it's uh if you have fear of making wrong decisions maybe you can ask anyone from your friends or family members or our trainers in philippine home-based moms your fellow members if you're not sure if a job post is a legit uh job ad or the client is fishy maybe you can ask uh other moms right so yeah so if you're considering working uh, from home as a freelancer or becoming a full-time entrepreneur, I highly suggest to look for someone or maybe a group like FH Moms to be your support system, okay? So lastly, oh my God, I hope we still have time. <sighs> lastly, the fear of competition both in freelancing and business and of course losing your core team if you are a startup so this message or this fear is common for entrepreneurs but also this is a common 
uh, fear for a lot of freelancers, especially for newbies, because especially now that all of all of everyone, everyone, not just Filipinos, but everyone is now looking for online jobs because they lost their jobs, right? So yeah, my game plan for 2020, I just wanted to share it with you, is for our team to develop and be the best with what we can do so that we don't fear uh, if there is a new competitor, right? So we, we, we're we doing a lot of things for, for the team to, to improve. We're launching a train, the trainers program. Um, we're doing marketing, uh, what's this, uh, Facebook ad or digital marketing right now to improve or to, to, to be better with our numbers, right? So that's something that I learned as a sort of founder is taking care of the team so that they won't leave you. And if uh, they do, just move on and learn from it. But you don't have the fear of losing, you know, your team members. Uh, you can always find a good uh team member you don't have to worry if if you lose uh your your audience or your sorry your um few of your customers it's fine you can always find a new customer all right so yeah i, I just want to thank uh freedom summit global of course celia and fabio for the opportunity to share with you, uh, my main story, um, share with you the fears that I've been through as well. And um, okay, so this industry has helped me and my family a lot. I just wanted to share to wrap up. So in two years of working from home, I can finally say that I'm happy and contented. I'm uh, enjoying the freedom of time, location, though for the location, we can't go out. But before the pandemic, we started traveling in different places here in the philippines right thank you thank you so much for allowing me to share my freelancing story and startup story as a founder as well i don't usually share it so i'm so happy so yeah so aside from that we got married started traveling and uh we're moving to our new house hopefully this year once this pandemic ended but if not we will be forced to uh, transfer to our new house, which is good. Uh, we will be leaving in Batanga soon. So yeah, so I mentioned earlier, uh, our team, I just wanted to say hi to all of our team members, especially to our uh, seven trainers. So after this, uh, after this talk, uh, I will be uh, giving away, yes, I will be giving away a free online course from Sil Skill Success. It's a free course about a perk. I forgot the other topics, but this is a freelancing uh, course that I can share to everybody. So to uh, every one of you who's watching right now, I want you to comment down um, um, your fears, and then if you um, if maybe you can tell me what's your game plan in order for you to um to overcome those fears or if you've overcome your um your your fears and you've done something about it maybe you can share your fear story with us okay so uh just comment down in the comment section and then i'll choose one person uh for for the free course of your choice in Filipina home-based moms. Okay, so just comment down your, your story about your fears and how you were able to overcome that. And then all of the, all of you who commented down uh, your, your story, you'll get a free skill success course. And then I'll just pick one who can win a free course of your choice in Filipina home-based moms. Okay, so we're not yet done. I just wanted to let you know. So freelancing and entrepreneurship is indeed an emotional roller coaster, right? Right. So it's up to you if you will scream or you will enjoy the ride. Of course, comment down, enjoy the ride, right? So let us all enjoy the 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 journey of working from home, of being an entrepreneur, right? 
if you focus to enjoy the ride, please email me at connectatfhmoms.com and tell me your struggles as an entrepreneur or a freelancer if you wanted to share your story with me or if you like this uh, live session. If you wanted to hire your virtual assistant, just send us a message at Tony at fhmoms.com. If you wanted to work with us, if you're a brand um, or a company and you wanted to advertise in your community, you can always send us a message at Riza at fhmoms.com. For general inquiries, just send us a message at connect at fhmoms.com. Uh, right. So thank you so much, everybody. That's the end of my uh, presentation. I hope you enjoyed. Ciliari is still there. I'm done. Oh, you're, I think you're on mute. I'm not really sure, but I can't hear you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, MK. Thank you for that, you know, inspiring uh, talk as, as always. And uh, I can see the engagement. You know, everybody's like saying hi. Thank you. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Thank you, Mommy MK. You know, the, the good thing about this is um, when I met MK, when I met MK, uh, we are having a digital nomad uh, event in my area uh, in Mandaluyong. And I, 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 I didn't, I always hear about her, but I, 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 I haven't met her that time. So she's at the back, uh, back side of the workshop, very simple, quietly listening. And then uh, when we were talking, and somebody pointed out that that's MK. I went to her, and then uh, I said hi, hello. And then she told me because my son is there. I I'm just as old as your your uh, firstborn, my uh, panganay. So because my son is also there, so I was like, what? Everyone, <laughs> I I cannot. Uh, you know, for me that's so amazing because of the the achievements, the lives that were transformed. Such a, a young age, the couple. Uh, MK for FH Moms, Jim for and Mark for PH Dads. You know, um, it it gives you more hope. No, it gives you more hope that uh, somehow uh, we still have good future because uh, the the young generations uh, there are really trying their best to make things better. So thank you, MK. Thank you for your support. And please, um, for for the for the FH Moms community, stay stay. Uh, in this uh, whole session, because we're also giving away several um, prizes from True Life of UK and Coach Jendi, uh, the the gifts of uh, MK from Filipina Home Based Moms. Uh, All Care is also giving us a uh, one year health uh, insurance from Cindy, and uh, so many things from us different speakers. But most of all, when I was like uh, looking at listening to MK. I resonated with her when she said failure is just part of success. That's true. I failed so many times in my 46 years. I failed so many times and I always say fall seven times, stand up eight. And uh, with MK as early as now, whatever mistake, okay, uh, that's okay. You can do better next time. But the good thing about her also is she's responsible enough to understand things because there is a community supporting her and also expecting you know uh, some 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 uh support from their leader and her, their leader is very responsible you know when i see her every time in she's in a competition she never takes the the glory for herself <clears throat> that's a good thing about a leader she always thank the team she always give back to her community and in return, us, the, the people also, the community who supports her, really gets inspired. And MK, MK you don't know how much you, you, you inspire us. In, in all generations, I think not only the millennials, not only the Generation X, not only the baby boomers like Fabio, uh, you inspire us. And we thank you for another inspiring talk. And we hope to venture again and collaborate again soon. And Filipina home-based moms community, thank you for supporting the vision of freedom summit because uh, you have been there from the start trying to help us achieve the vision of helping people learn achieve 
time, location, and financial independence. So, MK, with that, if you have last words, uh, uh, let me know. Uh, and so that you can thank uh, the viewers that are until now trying to engage because uh, they enjoyed your talk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on mute. I just wanted to thank Freedom Summit Global for the opportunity, Celia. And it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for all the good words. I'm so proud of all the Filipino speakers who made it in day one and day two. And good luck to all of the speakers uh, in the afternoon session. And of course, to everyone who is uh, commenting right now, I can see a lot of comments. Thank you so much. I'll be reading it later. So yeah good luck i'm really excited uh Celia, for for this uh journey that or uh for this uh project or this uh summit that you're doing because i know there there will be a lot of people who will be inspired with uh all of the speakers so yeah i can't hear you but i believe you're saying goodbye so yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you bye-bye thank you bye-bye bye-bye